Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel. I'm currently in training for the Airbus A330 type rating and in this video I want to show you how we do the FMS setup. I'm doing this in Microsoft Flight Simulator with the Fenix Airbus A320. So this is our flight for the day from Frankfurt to Stuttgart which is just going to be a quick demo for our FMS setup. We start on the data page, making sure that the airplane type, engines and NAV database are correct and the performance factor is correct. Also, if there are any saved pilot waypoints at this point, we would delete them over here. From there, we continue to the init page, where during the preliminary cockpit inspection, the CM1 would already have entered our airport pair, but for the purpose of flight simulation, we have to do this ourselves. So we're going from Frankfurt towards Stuttgart today, and our alternate is once again going to be Frankfurt. The flight number will be Airbus 320, and this is basically how you would find the MCDU with the uplink requested from the CM1 when you start with your FMS setup in the pre-flight procedures. So let's go ahead now. Next up we enter our cost index which is going to be 10 and our cruising level of flight level 190 as we can take it from the flight plan over here. You would also enter the cruising temperature over here if you have data available so we can see we've got a top of climb standard deviation from plus 5 degrees so we can make this slash minus 18 degrees for our cruise giving us a more accurate performance prediction. With the init A page filled out, let's go ahead to the flight plan page and we're going to load up the route. Lateral revision from Frankfurt, departure runway today is going to be 25 center on the Aneki 1 Foxtrot departure. Insert this and pressing airport, we are going to get right down to the end of the route we've entered so that we can start entering our flight plans. The route we have planned today is what we can see over here, so let's go ahead and start programming that. If you had a direct, then you could just enter it straight down here, like for example, let's take direct to Neklo, slightly different from our planned route, but this is just for demonstrational purposes, and insert that. Okay, now let's start programming our airways. We'll start on Neklo, then go towards the airways key, and now we enter the airway as we need them. So Yankee 171 towards income. And then we continue on airway November 850. And instead of entering the via and the two, you can just enter all the airways as well. You just have to carefully check that the airplane automatically picks the correct two waypoint. So for example, we just entered November 850 and we can enter Tango 128 next and the airplane is going to pick the waypoint automatically. Just make sure that the correct one is actually selected. From here we go on towards Batso, and then we can insert this. Next up we enter our arrival, so we go to Stuttgart, lateral revision, arrival, ILS 25. We have the Batso 2 Alpha arrival and we're going to take the Lima Bravo uniform transition like so. Okay, insert. Now we are going to program the engine out sit. So we go to flight plan, copy active, and then we need to check in our performance tool how the engine out sit is actually going to work. In our case it tells us that we go straight at to Frankfurt X-Ray 5, so we enter this in the flight plan over here. In order to prepare for an immediate return, we go to the lateral revision of Frankfurt X-Ray 5 and enter the new destination as Frankfurt Airport. Next up we select our arrival, so lateral revision, Frankfurt, and then we are going to select an ILS approach for runway 25 center. So for example up here we can take ILS Zulu 25 center. And we can just leave it like that. Next up we go to the radio navigation page and enter any NAV aid as needed. For example we might start off with Frankfurt Main VOR on the number 2 and then read VOR on the number 1. Those are just two close by NAV aids which we can make use of for flying our SID and Frankfurt Moment just for some general situational awareness of where we are. 
From here, we continue to the flight plan page to enter the engine out SID visually as well. So we go to the lateral revision of a waypoint and then to fix info. And on here, we enter Frankfurt 25 center up here. And then as radial, we enter our runway course, in this case 247, like so. On the next page then, we enter our engine out waypoint, like here, Frankfurt X-ray 5, on the fixes. Now, this is going to give us a good indication of our engine out sit here with the dashed blue line. And if we scroll out a little bit, we can see that this basically shows us our entire engine out um, SID in a visual format. Obviously, if we want to fly it, we have it available on the secondary flight plan as well. So going ahead from here, we go to the progress page and then we enter our departure room in here. Once again, that's for situational awareness in case you have some sort of a failure. With this, our lateral flight plan is basically entered. With the lateral flight plan entered, we go to data, next page, pilot route, and we are going to store our active flight plan. Now, storing the flight plan will later on enable the pilot monitoring to easily check that we've entered the flight plan correctly. In our case, we entered Frankfurt, the Aneki departure. Now, this should read our SID if one has been entered. So there should be Aneki 1 Foxtrot in here. Then direct to Neklo, Yankee 171 income, November 850 Karlsruhe. And the arrival should also be showing below this. So this is the data that the pilot monitoring can later use to conduct the route check. With our route now entered, let's go ahead and enter the performance data. So we start on the init B page, zero fuel weight today is 60 tons and the center of gravity is going to be 30. And the, then we also enter the block fuel like five tons and then continue onto the performance page. Over here, let's enter our takeoff data. So V1, 140, V rotate, 140 and V2, 145. Make sure the thrust reduction and acceleration are correct. For noise abatement procedure 2, which is the default procedure that most operators fly, in Frankfurt it's going to be something like 1363 and 1363. And if you were to fly noise abatement procedure 1, you would enter thrust reduction 1500 and acceleration 3000. So in case of Frankfurt it would be 1863 slash 3363. Also make sure the engine out acceleration altitude is 1500 AGL, which is what most operators use. Finally, we are going to enter our trim setting, for example, up 0.2 and our flex takeoff temperature like 69 degrees. If an intersection would be planned, we would enter that as well. For example, if we were to go off Lima 6, we might enter something like 723 meters. Next up, compare the clean speed with the speed that's been calculated by a performance calculator. And then we can go to next phase. Pre-select any speed that we may want to maintain immediately after our departure turn, but that is really as needed. So in case of our SID, we already have a 210 knot restriction on the Delta Foxtrot 137 waypoint, as you can see down here, so we do not need to enter any additional speed constraint. With that, our FMC setup is basically complete, and we can now go ahead to conduct the departure briefing and then read the checklist and get going. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this one interesting. If you did, do let me know in the comments below. I'm looking forward to welcoming you all again on the next one very soon. And until then, wish you very nice flights with the Airbus. And finally, if you really liked the video, I would appreciate if you could press that like button in YouTube, comment if you want to tell me what you think I could do better. And finally, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. Thank you for your attention, and I'll see you all again very soon.